Башня вот лежит дальше. Вот так. Все, ладно, мы пошли обратно. Ничего не осталось, ничего дырявое. Вот мы достали до сих пор, блядь. А, блядь. Все, блядь, минами засыпано, блядь. Вот так вот выглядит, блядь, передовая. Там хохлы. Запах стоит, конечно. Просто непередаваемый, блядь. Всего... Как все это восстанавливать? Он техники битой, блядь, сколько стоит. Не достали. Наша буханочка. Наша буханочка. Russia aims to mobilize 300,000 military by June. Russia plans to mobilize an additional 300,000 servicemen by June the 1st, says President Volodymyr Zelensky at a joint press conference with his Finnish counterpart Alexander Stubb. As British intelligence reports, Russia recruits about 30,000 new soldiers to its army each month. This allows it to continue the aggressive war against Ukraine. The Russian Defense Ministry has registered an influx of volunteers willing to sign up as contract soldiers this year, with many willing to join the fight against Ukraine after Russian officials suggested Kiev may have been behind the Crocus City Hall terrorist attack. In a statement, the ministry said that more than 100,000 people had signed contracts since the start of 2024, with numbers increasing nationwide. Officials estimate that up to 1,700 volunteers register at recruitment centers each day, and that in the past 10 days, some 16,000 Russian citizens have signed contracts.
During interviews conducted over the past week, most candidates said their main motive for concluding a contract was a desire to avenge those killed in the tragedy that occurred on March the 22nd, 2024, in the Moscow region, the ministry added. In late December, Putin said that a total of 617,000 service members were present in the zone of the military operation against Ukraine. He noted at the time that out of this number, 244,000 had been mobilized in the autumn of 2022. At the time, Moscow had called up 300,000 people. The Russian president also said that 41,000 had been dismissed for various reasons since then. Putin added that Moscow does not plan to announce a second wave of mobilization as nearly 500,000 troops have current contracts with the defense ministry.